After Prophet Musa, may peace be upon him, died, the Israelites became very ill-mannered and disbelievers. To make them realize their disobedience and stubbornness, and to remind them to turn to God put them on a trial by appointing one of the worst and most terrible tyrants as their leader named Jalat, Goliath. Bonu Israel was exhausted with the humiliation and continuous wars and defeats in the kingdom of Goliath. After many years of trials, Talat was selected to be the king of Bonu Israel by God. Talat was a farmer, and he was submissive, strong, and a wise man. Talat had very limited people and arms in his army however, Jalat possessed a huge, strong, and fully equipped army. Both the armies were set to fight. Bonu Israel got horrified seeing the size of Jalat's army. King Talat declared that whoever kills Jalut will get married to his daughter, nobody dared to go in front and start the fight and at this time a young boy came forward saying I will fight Jalat. Talat refused to let him go as he was very young. However, the boy insisted to let him go and said, I killed a lion last night so I can fight with Jalat. That brave young boy was Prophet Dord. Talat agreed and made him wear the armor to commence the fight. Prophet Dord felt it hard to go with the armor, as he was so young and skinny. Dord faced Jalat with no weapons or swords but a slingshot and few pebbles. He prayed to God to help him and was ready to kill Jalat. He shot with his slingshot and the pebble got straight to Jalat's forehead. He was hit so hard that he immediately fell with blood gushing from his forehead and he was found dead in seconds. The army of Jalak got terrified seeing their leader die in seconds. The Bonu Israel then won the battle with the Philistine army by the will and help of God even though they were very few in numbers and were barely equipped. Prophet Dord then entered the holy land of Jerusalem with his family and other righteous people. As promised, Talat married his daughter to Prophet Dord also, Talat appointed Dord as the commander of his army. The wisdom, greatness, and humbleness of Prophet Dord started increasing among everyone with time. The love and prominence that Prophet Dord was getting from people made Talat jealous and he started envying Dord. This fire of jealousy grew so intense that Talat made plans to kill him. Talat sent Dord to send him for dangerous war so that he may be killed by the enemies however, Prophet Dord won every battle with the help of God. When Prophet Dord got to know about Talat's plan, he left the place with his family the same night and sheltered in a cave. Many other people also took shelter with him in the cave. Prophet Dord then went to the neighboring kingdom of Palestine along with his people. Talat attacked Palestine as soon as he came to know about this. He died in this battle and his soldiers fled from there. Prophet Dord was the king of Palestine now and after the death of Samuel, God granted him with prophethood. David Dord is one of the few Islamic prophets who received kingship as well. While other prophets preached during the reign of kings, David, in his time, was the king. Thus, he received an extremely large task of making sure that the people of Israel were not only held in check spiritually but that the country itself remained strong as well. His place as both leader and prophet is revered by all Muslims as one of extremely high rank. The figure of David, together with that of his prophetic son, Solomon, are iconic of people who ruled justly over their land. God frequently mentions David's high rank as a prophet and messenger in the Quran. He is often mentioned alongside other prophets to emphasize how great he was. Prophet Dord ruled Palestine for 40 years with peace and harmony. He spent seven years in Hebron and 33 years in Jerusalem. Your Lord knows whoever is in the heavens and the earth. We exalted some of the prophets over the others, and to David we gave the book of Psalms. Prophet Dord used to pray during the nights and used to fast every alternated day. He divided his night into parts for prayers and sleep. In an authentic hades, Prophet Muhammad said, the most loved salat, prayer, in the sight of God is the salat of Dord and the most loved of psalm, fasting, in the sight of God is the psalm of Dord. He used to sleep for the first half of the night and offer prayer for one third of it and sleep, again, for one sixth of it and he used to observe fast on alternate days. And when he encountered an enemy he never fled. Bukhari. 
Prophet Dord lived for 100 years. Thank you for your time. If you like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel.